Hey folks, this is Waylon uh, doing our daily Facebook Live. You can see Dave Rogers in an orange hat is slowly walking up the street from getting coffee. Um, I'm going to do a little tour of uh, Elephant HQ, which is right behind me here. Uh, it's painted Buddhist orange, which is the color of wakefulness. Also, not coincidentally, the color of construction projects and signs they want you to stop. There's Dave Rogers. Say hello, Dave. He's a bad man. Uh, Here's our garden, which is not looking super exciting, but we got chamomile and stuff. We partnered with Urban Farm. This is its second year, so we've trimmed back all the kale and we planted a ton of stuff. Um, but having a little organic raised bed is a great thing to do. We just planted a new tree with the city that'll flower soon. This is our ancient pre-boulder got developed um, remnant of an apple orchard. Uh, people used to plant fruit trees everywhere so that they would have food because they didn't have Whole Foods right by them. Uh, and now we've gone away from that. This is our bench. Um, it's made out of an old cabin from the mountains and a back of a pickup. And here's some of our bikes. People are encouraged to bike and uh, all that to work. Uh, we're about to build a fence so that I can have my dog outside and we're gonna use bike rims and reused upcycled wood, which is not only green, eco, responsible, uh, but cheaper so now let's uh, Walk in and this will be relatively quick and I'll try and go around uh, eco aspects. So if you have um, anything that you do that's eco that um, You do that or any questions you have uh, go for it. So one of the first things we did is we got um, There's our new bird feeder because it's nice to feed those hungry birds and uh, one of the first things we did is turn down, you can't really see it, but um, it was set to water every single night and it was like a jungle forest out here. So we just did a video and you can watch that video on youtube.com slash elephant journal. Um, but uh, on how, what to weed and what not to weed, um, how to take care of your roses and all that. So there's some stuff that we could stand to weed here, but we haven't uh, quite got to it. We, uh, I'm kind of personally into, uh, a lot of chaos. Here's this stuff tastes like lemon. It's really delicious. I like to eat it. So every little detail, post office box is reused. Let's see. So here's our front door. Got a little Buddha there. A little welcome sign for a staff member who moved here recently. This was a from a leftover from a class that I taught during startup week. And here's our entrance room. We're actually kind of outfitting this like a uh, um, a shop right now. But right now, you can see there's old elephant blocks here. This used to be a pot shop like just about every location in Boulder, Colorado. And this was a pot security window. There's Bill working away, drinking coffee. Why not both? This that I supported and just one, she's progressive and supports affordable housing and all that stuff. Here's uh, some pottery from a local uh, artist. There's my first book and some of the stuff we sell. Um, you can see the furniture is all from Craigslist or Upcycle, that was an old drum kit. All right. There's Ashley Hitchcock, she's always cheerful, always. She's not allowed to be depressed like normal human beings. Um, and this is more, we try and get furniture, most furniture is formaldehyde and all kinds of toxic stuff in it, including your mattresses that you sleep on. She makes vegan cookies for me and for everyone. And uh, they're delicious. So here's some more of our stuff. There's a t-shirt that's connected with a book. It's organic cotton. Now let's see. One thing we do during the day, I just open this uh, window because it's prettier to be open, but we shade ourselves from the sun and we open the windows on this side so that it's cooler in here. Here's a made in the US basketball hoop so you can jump around and have a good time. Limber up, working is tough. These shelves are obviously well used as you can see. Um, they are made from recycled, upcycled stuff, which again is uh, cheaper and better for our environment. The chairs, the tables, everything's upcycled or Craigslist. Even the plants I think were donated. The, the frame pictures, this is from my Kudo Zen Buddhist uh, archery teacher and he did the calligraphies and the glass is actually eco glass that is such a thing and um, 
Even the frame is made out of old flooring. It's kind of interesting. Um, here's a birthday sign my mom made that's been up the entire year and I'm about to have my birthday, so that's either sad or cute. Here's plants, we're into them. All of our desks are made out of basketball tables or again, are upcycled or whatever. You can see the basketball markings here. There's Redford, he's a little bit of a celebrity as far as dogs go. He's licking my hand right now. Um, readers send us all kind of cute things, including this elephant tray. Um, there's some books I have to sign. It's not a hard job. Let's see, here's a bunch of books piled up that we're shipping out. This is an old magazine cover of Elephant Magazine, Barnwood Frame. And don't worry, this won't go on forever and we'll get to something meaningful. There's Dave, again, who is sick of this bullshit. This chandelier is off of Craigslist. My parents uh, met or had me or whatever over at Naropa University, then Institute. And here is a bunch of teachers. Um, there's Caitlin, working away. She's counting our money. It's not a very hard job because there's not enough of it. This is the entire poem of Howl in typography. It's pretty cool. I don't know if you can get in there. Yeah, see that? So if you're ever bored, Caitlin, you can just read that. 50 Years of Howl, signed by Ann Waldman right there. Uh, Caitlin has the only ergonomic chair in here. All the other chairs are really horribly cool, eames, and uncomfortable. Got a file cabinet off of Craigslist. It's 100 years old. And more plants. There's a poster that goes with my book. We're about to put trees outside here, so we're getting ready to do that. Good old whiteboard, also used. Whiteboards are pretty toxic stuff. Here's our totally contradictory little room. It's cell phone room, it's nap room, and it's meditation, which is about waking up room. So it's a whole bunch of contradictory things. We have little quotes around here. Hold the sadness and pain of samsara, of suffering in your heart. It's a good quote for today with all the horrible news in the US. And at the same time, the power and wisdom of the greatest and son. The greatest and son is the notion of continually awakening basic human goodness. Then the warrior, the warrior is not someone who makes war, but who is brave and, and can uh, serve the world in this context, can make a pro proper cup of tea. The notion of that is they can um, be helpful in the present moment. Here's another of my favorite quotes or poems. It's If by Rudyard Kipling, and that blog is on Elephant. We made it like a little Nepal in here, I guess. Um, before I die, I want to, something super inspiring, right? Now just sell copies of things, my book. But well, hopefully my book's inspiring. Here's some random kid. We, we uh, are staffed by child labor. How's it going? Hi. Hey. <laughs> now that's Joseph's kid doing something. There's Tintin, we're big Tintin fans. There's daddy, Joseph. Daddy. You can see behind there's uh, uh, beds because a lot of our staff are visiting and don't live here. We cut a big hole in here. It was a kind of dark room and we put in a little kitchen bar which you can also work on. And a friend of ours did all the work. And here's a bunch more quotes. I won't force you to read everything but you could read one of them if so inspired. The true meaning of life by the Dalai Lama. We are visitors on this planet. We are here for 90 or 100 years. During that period, we must try to do something good, something useful with our lives. If you contribute to other people's happiness, you will find the true goal, the true meaning of life. So they're helpful. We get our water in glass, which is more expensive than plastic, but uh, plastic is not good stuff. We, as you can see, unplug everything when it's on use, like the tea kettle, so it's not using extra electricity. All this may seem meaningless, but it's nice to be kind of responsible and that kind of kindness or thoughtfulness can extend to your daily life. We save water that doesn't have bad soap in it and we water our plants with it. Um, that chair I found in the trash and biked here. That was awkward. Here's a fridge from a local fridge company. It's kind of retro, big chill. We bought it refurbished, a little cheaper. We got Bhakti Chai in here, I think. They sponsor us and we give them some parking because we don't use our parking too much. Here's two more of those cool old benches uh, made out of pickup trucks and old cabins. And I got these so that they had coat racks so in the winter people can uh, hang up their coats when they walk in the back. We got a staff bike. 
got a beautiful, again, like reclaimed wood frame picture here. Um, there's the park in the back that we don't use, you can see. We rent out and uh, look, even the hooks are upcycled little things. Ashley did those. Here's one of my favorite videos ever. I encourage all of you to search Dark Side of the Lens at elephantjournal.com and watch it. It's beautiful. We just painted it in here, Eco Paint. Um, here's our camp rules. Let's read one of them. Um, let's see. When bogged down in a specific issue, think of the vision or mission. Take a step back, get more over it. We all make mistakes, feel comfortable asking quote unquote dumb questions. If you agree to do something, do it, do it. Or explain that you can't do it after all. So just clear communication. That's from Restoration Hardware, but it's uh, off Craigslist, so it's reused again. Kind of a little in joke for a bathroom, wind. We use Eco Soap from Pangea, great company. And let's see, where can I go? I'll go in here. I think that's the tour. So some folks have been asking for a tour. Hopefully you saw that and now you're super happy. So I thought it would be fun to do today because honestly the news is so hard. Um, you know, these shootings and then more shootings and um, you know, that's, I guess, what happens in this world when there's hatred, when there's prejudice, when there's violence, um, it engenders more hatred, prejudice, and violence. And, um, you know, as Allen Ginsberg, the beat poet, I think said, um, hate or aggression further, aggression only begets aggression. And that's a powerful, though simple message. Um, that you know our reaction to atrocities to violence to um even terrorism if it is further aggression we're going to only beget more aggression which will come back to us so the idea isn't that you just lay over and act like a doormat but that you have to um go forward not just with righteous aggression but with um wisdom with compassion with thinking how can we um make allies um we've done a good job of that in some instances in American history and a very bad job of that in other instances. So anyway, I hope that uh, tour was helpful. Here's one more thing. We're going to make some huge um, planters out of these trash cans we just bought at our local hardware store. They're made in the US and uh, we're going to put evergreen trees in there. So it's nice to have something green that you can see outside of um, your window, which we haven't had. All right, I'm gonna try and prop it up here. So if you have any comments or questions about world news or if you'd like to um, ask anything, uh, I'm here for you. We could also offer two minutes of meditation practice and then just wrap up today. Uh, I offer these every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday from um, at 11 a.m. MST. And then they're recorded, you can watch them later. They're also on youtube.com slash elephant journal, which is my channel. Um, and Cordy, yeah, we can't wait to have you. Cordy designs our website. So if you see anything beautiful that actually functions, that's her team's work and her work. Um, if you see anything frustrating, uh, you can send a very nice message to us and we'll get it fixed. Um, but it's probably leftover stuff. Uh, thank you, Katie. Yeah, we this hat was featured on um, Bernie Sanders' uh, Facebook page and uh, sold out. We're making more hats. Um, I think the hat we're going to make this time is, again, also sort of editing or lightly making fun of uh, Trump's hat. And it's going to say, make people stop walking um, and driving while texting again. Um, we don't like to be uh, viciously um, uh, partisan, but we do like to, um, you know, we do like to kind of uh, tease situations. Yeah, Douglas, these are cool benches. We're super into them. Um, thank you. Uh, and, and you know, the benefit here is it basically it's like straight up cowboy made them and, um, you know, you're benefiting his family. You're helping him put food on the table. He literally said that when we did it. And, um, uh, you know, so it's nice to support local folks instead of just having kind of cookie cutter, uh, boring, um, cubicle style offices. Um, all right, Hayden, 
just messaged me. I forgot to uh, turn off my text. That's bad. That's the first time I've done that. So, Bess, you're in trouble. You're failing to babysit me. All right. Hayden is a uh, beautiful friend of mine who's here for a couple days from Austin, which is an awesome uh, town. I've only been there once. I was there for South by Southwest, like every other tourist who's only been there once. And it was kind of fun. I was on a panel with Sean Corn and Vikram Gandhi. Vikram Gandhi, who I just saw in the new uh, Batman and Superman movie, which is weird. And um, we were on a panel and it was kind of a waste of time, but it was sort of fun. And Sean Corn is always great. And she's super active in helping out this planet, which God knows we need it. And she's a great yoga teacher. You can see my videos with her. We talk about relationships and, um, you know, how the hell to to have a meaningful relationship. She's been in a kind of um, top secret meaningful relationship for many, many years. Brandy, yeah, we're in Boulder. You can stop by, get a book or a mug or whatever you want or just come say hello any old time. All right, I don't know what's inappropriate with the horror, Stacey. Maybe, oh, you sing cute? That's fine. There's nothing wrong with having a sense of humor and love and compassion and all that in horrible times. At that said, these are horrible times. I just read two of uh, Obama's messages about tragedies and, um, you know, they're very different tragedies and uh, it's helpful. I, you know, I, I'm sure many of you are not fans of Obama, but um, whether you are a fan or not, I feel like he really offers a lot of calm and compassion and kindness in, in times like these, which I'm going to miss. All right. So someone from Elephant is leaving. Uh, if I mention a blog or something helpful, like my favorite poem, um, uh, someone from Elephant will leave those comments in the comments so that you can read them. All right. Chris, love your comment. Chris Harmon Buchanan, hug someone today, extend your hand, USA needs to love. Yeah, I was feeling kind of, uh, obviously, uh, I think like everyone a little bit depressed or shaken by this. Um, I'm in a very privileged um, town in Boulder. I get to wake up. It feels very safe. I'm white. I look like Beaver Cleaver or whatever his name was. Um, and while I've had some hard times in life and my family's had hard times, is nothing compared to what's going on. And um, so I get to wake up in a safe situation and bike to work. But I just want everyone to know everywhere that everyone in America, or at least the vast you know, Richard Nixon's silent majority or, or a different silent majority is really feeling um, sad and troubled and wants to help. And uh, if you want allies, we're here. And if you don't, we're still around and available. So, um, Carrie, can you offer advice on how we can approach our friends who are so hurt and angry over the current events? Well, hurt is a powerful thing. And, you know, we often leave Tong Lin in the comments, so maybe uh, whoever's on uh, from Elephant can leave Tong Lin in the comments. But the first thing you can do when there's a tragedy of any kind, um, we have a blog, How the Dalai Lama Responds to Tragedy. That is okay. I don't think it's great, but we can leave that in the comments. Um, Dalai Lama's been through remarkable tragedy and genocide and, and having to flee his country and everything he knew. The first thing you can do is, is as Jesus says, love thine enemy. Um, Maybe that's the second thing you can do. The first thing you have to do is process that hurt and that anger. And you can process th that through Tonglen. Um, so Tonglen is, is a Buddhist practice, but you don't have to be Buddhist. It's just a very direct, powerful way to process anger, hurt, before you just kind of, our human tendency is to throw the anger and hurt out onto others. And then it just kind of um, exponentially grows, right? And that doesn't help anyone. It doesn't even truly um, help us. All right, Carrie, I hope that's mildly helpful. Um, Cindy, a quote from Joseph Heller, great writer, mankind is resilient, humankind. The atrocities that horrified us a week ago become acceptable tomorrow. Yeah, I think that's a sort of half inspiring and half cynical comment. They're not acceptable and they never are. We get used to them, um, you know. Cecil the Lion, for example, was uh, mainstream news for three days last year and then kind of disappeared. People just get over it. We're very speedy. There's 24-7 news. Um, it's important to keep certain things in mind, like the tragedy in Dallas that just happened was helped along by assault weapons. And while this is an incredibly uh, partisan 
uh, issue now, whether to ban assault weapons or not, um, thanks to the NRA. Uh, something like 90% of gun owners think that common sense, um, you know, closing of loopholes to buy these weapons, background checks um, are great, a great idea. So I think we can, there's a big middle ground we can all come together on common sense stuff that really helps restrict the flow of these guns into unsafe areas like Chicago or into criminals' hands. Um, yeah, as Ashley staff lady said, there is a heavy vibe today. She was the one with the cookies. All right. Brooke, you're eating Gift from the Sea, one of my recommendations. So yeah, that's one of my favorite books. It's um, partial inspiration for my book, Things I Would Like to Do With You. Gift from the Sea, I highly recommend buying it in a used bookstore, not a new one, because the new edition is ugly and the old editions are stunningly beautiful. Jay Califian Marie, really struggling right now, heartbroken. How do we avoid overfeeling? Don't avoid it. I think the, the easiest way to feel overwhelmed by overfeeling is to try and avoid it. The best thing you can do, kind of like we're getting into a, a bath, is you just kind of have to relax into it and um, relax into that heat, into that heartbreak. And again, Tonglen is a powerful and safe way to process that. So try, try Tonglen, it's incredibly simple. You meditate first, take a good posture, deep breath, feel your spine relax, eyes are open, meditate for a few minutes, we'll do that in a minute. We'll do meditation instruction right before I hang up for today. Then you practice Tonglen for a couple minutes, which is giving and taking. The ego's tendency is to push away anything bad and cling to anything good and ignore anything we don't care about. Tong Len kind of reverses the ego's tendency and then we can both be strong but also vulnerable in a uh, grounded and safe way in heartbreaking times. Yeah, thank you to Carrie. Thanks for thanking. Daniel, running to the corner to the corners does not, maybe the extremes does not allow for grieving, but offers protection to the ego, which is driving much of the online vitriol. Exactly, that online world, it's so easy for people to be aggressive and mean online because you know we really don't have to look each other in the eye and, and realize that we're affecting a human being. All right, so I'm not gonna do Tong Len meditation instruction because I prefer that you learn it, if at all, from Pema Children, who is a wonderful teacher, she's online. You can see Tong Len Meditation is in the comments, I hope, I think, I, I uh, believe. Yeah, there it is. Pema Chodron, how to do Tong Lan and meditation practice for difficult times. This is certainly a difficult time, but I'll, I'll instruct you in meditation. I have studied and been trained in this. Not that it gives me any credential, but just that you're in reasonably safe hands with me. So ground your sit bones, breathe deep, take a really good posture, relax. If you've done this with me many times, you can mute me, but I encourage you to just keep it, keep it up and I'll talk you through it. Find your breath, in and out. Hands are just flat on your thighs. Eyes are open, 45 degrees down. We're not trying to block the world out here. Breathe in, breathe out. You're not trying to calm yourself. You're not trying to do anything. Just put, place your attention on your breath, in and out. Feel the earth below you, feel the sky above, feel your heart in the middle. In Buddhism, they talk about joining heaven and earth. Earth is the realm of practicality and details, paying your bills. Heaven is vision, mission. Heart is joining those two in our life on the level of enlightened or kind society. Breathe in, breathe out. That's not meditation, this is just breathing. Nothing profound or spiritual about it. Now, notice whenever you're thinking, say you're thinking about these tragedies, gun violence, racism, hatred, revenge, whatever you're thinking about, label it thinking gently, precisely and return your attention to your breath. This is now meditation. Still very simple. Breathe in. Breathe out. We can all do this together. There's a power in doing this together. If we can even meditate for a few minutes today together, thousands of us who've been attending these every day, 
um, we can begin to create some peace and some love and some compassion instead of the online vitriol, which is just creating more hatred. Breathe in, breathe out. If Lindsay's listening, that's a quote for you. Any thoughts that come up, label thinking, return your attention to your breath. Okay, now together, let's all bow to each other and to the world. Let's try and be a benefit. Let's try and create some compassion today. Compassion is the only thing that can help put out this fire. Take a good posture and offer respect. All right, I wish you luck. Don't be afraid of feeling the feelings, feel them fully. No need to act out on them. It's probably not helpful today. Uh, check out Tom Lin. I'll see you on Monday from uh, at 11 a.m. MST. And I hope you enjoyed today. You can share these up, get our newsletter. It's free, elephantjournal.com slash newsletter. And uh, it's on the top of every page of Elephant. And um, that's the best way to get us since Facebook is more or less hiding news and we'll be sending out my weekly editor's letter with a video this weekend so get that newsletter thank you so much everybody and love and compassion